bright and early out in Lake Vermilion. Look at the lake. It's ready to go. Look at that. I'm ready to go. We're out on the west side, the far west side of Lake Vermilion today. And we're gonna chase some panfish. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I've tested the waters a little bit the past couple years, but I haven't really dove right in and tried to find them. First things first, we're gonna go over to Life of Raleigh Resort and have breakfast. Been hearing about their breakfast now all year, basically. And I'm told that today is the last day of the summer that you can have breakfast. So we're gonna take advantage of that and then fish. So duties first, gotta get the boat in the water. Gonna use the father-in-law's boat today. And then breakfast and then fishing. So let's do this thing. It's the Ordinary Fisherman and it starts right now. Riley's I had just a nice young man help me with the boat didn't even ask he just did it this isn't a paid advertisement or anything I just heard they have a good breakfast and I didn't know it was the last day of the year that they had it until I inquired about it yesterday um, but it just panned out that way where um, this is their last morning to do their breakfast and since I was gonna be over here fishing anyway and we take advantage of it so let's go in there and see what they got breakfast time breakfast time It was a good breakfast. It really was. So now that I'm very well satisfied with a great breakfast from the life of Riley Resort, we're gonna go out and try to find some panfish. So we got a whole day to fish on a full stomach with good breakfast. Let's do this. All right, we're gonna try hitting some of this weed edge that I found on the satellite. And we're just gonna stick with Old Faithful. This is the lure I highlighted on the last outing. The Charlie Brewer sliders uh, plastic with a willow spoon on it. Uh, my experience with new spots is to kind of stick with lures you're familiar with first because you're already dealing with water you're unfamiliar with and then adjust from there. So. I don't really want to be throwing a lure I'm not familiar with in an area I'm not familiar with. So we'll stick with just one unfamiliarity if that makes sense. But right now there's a lot of cabbage weeds on scene here and we're going to creep up to this weed bed. Let's see what we can find. Lake Vermilion Panfish. Excited. I'm excited. Woohoo.
this might be a northern. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a bass. We got a largey here. Not what I'm looking for, but a good start to the morning, and it's a good largey. Good Lake Vermilion largey. There's a lot more of these on this side of the lake than there is on the east side. Yeah. This lure is not just for panfish. It can catch those bass, too. Solid 15 or so inch largemouth. Still want the panfish, though. We're only 10 minutes or so into this, so good sign where there's largies. There might be crappies and bluegills behind it. There we go. There we go. There's a nice seven and a half inch bluegill, finally. On tinsel weed edge here. Finally getting some bites. They're really light bites though. It's kind of hoping maybe some crappies hanging out in here. But I'll settle for some good bluegills, especially on Lake Vermilion. Man, on the east side of the lake, they're just super hard to find and not in quantity. And so they're really not worth chasing over there. Thus the trip onto the west side of the lake. There we go. Another one of these gills. Another one of these gills. Let's get a little more size to you boys and goyles. Boys and goyles. We got ourselves here a big bass. This is a good one here. It's gonna be a netter. Light gear, big bass. Come on, baby. Oh my goodness, buddy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this guy. <laughs> 17 and a half. <laughs> Ooh. It was fun. Mwah. Make your million big bass. Thanks, buddy. This is a six pound test. Eighth ounce jig. Handled that thing pretty darn good, I gotta say. Okay. Well, we made a move away from Black Bay and we're just searching now. I don't even know where I am. But we're gonna look around for some panfish in different spots that look panfishy and make a vermilion panfish outing of this yet. That's what we're gonna do. Whoa, back into some bluegills. Man, it's been a tough day. Not that I haven't caught a lot of fish, a lot of small fish. A lot of these six inch bluegills. But it's been fun. I just I underestimated the boat traffic today, you know, being a Sunday. I should have, uh, I should have known better, you know. But, you can only fish the days you're given. <laughs> and I was given today. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. Oh, here's my bigger bluegill of the day. I can feel it already. <laughs> I can feel it already. 
Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Because he is the biggest so far, we'll kind of get a rough estimate. Oh, yeah. Eight inch Lake Vermilion Bluegill. I wish I could duplicate this spot, but I I haven't seen any weeds like this anywhere. This is the only spot I've seen these weeds. And this uh, reed structure I'm fishing is just best fished with my bobber rig, so that's what I've got going right now. I've been using my sliders paddle tail rig pretty much the whole day. Caught those two nice bass on it. Caught all kinds of little guys just weren't worth putting on the camera. Try to boat control in the waves and not much wind. Very, very light wind. These waves are something else. Reminds me of Lake Norman down in North Carolina. <laughs> that's, what it, that's what it reminds me of. Oh no. Oh no, it's going to get in the camera. <laughs> Whoop. Send me your grandpa. Send me your grandpa. Send me your grandpa. Another one of them nice gills. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll end with some size. That's another one of those eight inchers. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I mean I can't be too disappointed. But I thought it was gonna be a crappie. Man, look at this perch. Look at this perch. Oh look at that big guy. I mean that's worth putting on camera right there. Ah! I thought that that was gonna be a crappie. Get out orange. Well, it was fine though. Mm, well, yeah, you get a kiss because that's a solid 10 plus inch perch right there. Solid, solid. Today, more than even some windy days, I'm getting really good practice with boat control. <laughs> These waves really knock you around. And when you're not expecting them and you're kind of, you know, lower winds, you can kind of have good control. All of a sudden you're ooh, off balance and moving and can never not be good enough. I'm say that in a positive way. You can always be good enough. You can always be better at boat control. Always. I feel like I've tried every single kind of panfish structure that I know how. I even trolled. <laughs> hoping to, to find some. So I put some time in today. So I am yearning for a spot like this to finally get some fast action. Ooh. What an awesome summer day. It started out really cool though, like this morning was 50 degrees. 50. Now it's a nice almost 80 and the sun's so bright I've been keeping my gator on to try to keep my sunburn to minimum because I don't like wearing sunscreen when I'm out fishing. It's all oily and gets all over everything and whether it really prevents fish from biting I'm not 100% sure but I don't want to find out for how much it gets all over everything. It's amazing how packed these fish are in this little I bet you there's only 20 square yards and there is just a whole bunches of fish in here. Whole bunches of them. Here's Gil. Is going to be a good one? Feels decent. Oh yeah. 
solid seven, seven and a half in here. Let's see if you got some more buddies over there. What do we got? What do we got? Another gill, another gill. I'm waiting for that that big muskie to start coming over here and chasing these little fish that I'm catching. I'm, I'm making enough racket to get his attention. If he wants to wait underneath the boat, he might have a chance at a free meal. Don't go over there, that's where he is. Here we go. Keep the flurry going. I think that's five casts in a row for a fish now. <laughs> it's like bluegill perch, bluegill perch, bluegill perch. Eight inches. He's not quite, she's not quite, but. Oh, they're my little feel goods though. Love that thump from bluegills on these rods. Oh, it's another one. Oh, it's another one. Hey there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> making up for lost time <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I love this rig so much is you can cast as fast as you can cast you can catch them when they're when they're there and willing oh they're willing all right don't have to stop and re rebate that often every once in a while a little adjustment Oh yeah. Don't get too far deep over there. That's where that muskie's hiding. Oh, there's a good one. There's an another eight incher. Yeah, bud. Yeah, bud. There's another decent gill. Oh yeah, back to pushing eight, eight inches there, nice, nice, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? If it's a bluegill, it's a really good one. If it's not, it's a bass. I still haven't seen it yet. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, nice bluegill, nice bluegill. Yes, yes. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's definitely the biggest one of the day. Yeah, nine and a half. Whew. Woo! Well, that's pan fishing on Lake Vermilion out in the west side. And I started in Norwegian Bay, worked my way into Black Bay, and now I'm back more towards the landing again on one of the islands here. Found some reed structure and finally found a whole bunch of them. And I caught random bluegills all day, random perch, uh, a couple of those nice bass and um, just didn't get in the panfish until late. And I'm about beat. <laughs> the boat traffic kind of beat me up. 
but it's fun. It's fun to see everybody out enjoying the lake. It's a beautiful, beautiful summer day, and this is how you spend it. Out in the lake fishing or playing. Yeah, baby. Next time you go fishing, be sure to take a kid with you. You will never regret it, and they will never forget it. I'm Nathaniel, just your ordinary fisherman. God bless everybody in tight lines. Just me. Just you? Yeah. Okay. Sure. And good people too. Had some visiting. <laughs> Got the kids out playing. Maybe this boat gentleman who helped me before can give me a tip on where the panfish are. But I'm thinking I'm gonna try some of the weed edges over here on this, this point. He's nodding his head. He's thinking that might be a good place to try. Oh, baldy gold fish. <laughs> I should have grabbed the camera and showed it. Now he's calling out that he caught the fish. The fish is yours, Biggin. How about a crappie or two? A crappie or two? Three or four would be nice. Like sugar and spice. Well, man, not gonna lie, it was a tough day fishing wise. Sure, uh, sure not a tough day to have to be on the lake though. I mean, bad day in the lake is better than a good day in the office. Be beautiful. Lake Vermilion Bluegills, absolutely. My bluegill smile is coming out.